So uniport first. Uniport. Then we will talk of symport. And the third is antiport. In uniport and symport, antiport, and all these three, there are protein molecules which are going to help in exchange of substances or transport of substances. Say here is a protein and it is helping in transport of a substance across the membrane only in one direction. This is substance A which is passing through the membrane only one direction and the substance comes in. This is outside, this is the part of the membrane and this is inside of the cell. So if a protein is helping in unidirectional transport of one substance, then we will call it uniport. We'll take the examples after we understand all three. Symport, again, there is a protein which is helping in transport of two substances in the same direction. So if there are substances like A and B outside, both the substances are transported by the same protein in the same direction. So A and B are going to come from outside on the inner side with the help of same protein. The third is when there is a protein which is helping in transport of two substances again but in opposite direction. That means substance A is coming in and substance B is going up. So three things. In all three, proteins are helping in transport of substances. In uniport, there is only one substance transported by that protein in one direction. In symport, two substances transported by one protein in the same direction. Antiport, two substances transported by the same protein but in opposite direction. Now let us take examples of these. The example of uniport transport can be calcium ions. So release of, one example, release of calcium ions when these calcium ions have to go into the presynaptic membrane. So calcium ions through presynaptic membrane. And second example is again of calcium ions. So calcium ions which are released from sarcoplasmic reticulum during muscle contraction. So from sarcoplasmic reticulum in the muscle cell. This happens during muscle contraction. This happens when the impulse is getting transferred from one neuron to the other through synapse. The example of this, this can be seen in intestine during absorption. So here one example is when sodium ions and glucose, they get transported together. So A can be sodium ion and B can be glucose. So glucose is taken in with the help of these sodium ions. Both are moving from outside into the cell and this is seen in intestine. And this example which we can take here in antiport is of sodium potassium pumps. And we know with expenditure of 1 ATP, if we replace this with sodium and potassium ions, we can say with expenditure of 1 ATP, the amount of energy which is released, 3 sodium ions are pumped out of the cell in exchange of 2 potassium ions. So it is the same protein which is transporting or helping in the transport of 2 substances. One is going out, other is coming in. So, two particles getting transported in opposite direction. So, uniport, symport and antiport, proteins helping in transport and depending upon the direction in which this transport is taking place, this classification is done. And these are the important examples which we have to remember.